So, so, uh, so this piece that we wrote today, or that we premiered today, Do No Evil, it was commissioned through Artist Share, and Artist Share wasn't my creation, it wasn't my idea, and it, nothing about it was my idea. I basically followed everything that the, the founder, Brian Camilio, um, told me. Already back in like 2000, 2001, this all started. We started talking about it then. He, that's when he came up with the idea and he, sa he said that, he said, really, he said, um, the only way to stop file sharing is to, to share the creative process. That they, you can't file share that relationship, that creative process. And so we, he created Artist Share so that we would, people could pre-order. So that, that was kind of the crowdfunding thing, but the crowdfunding word wasn't invented yet, or fan funding, and he didn't call it that. So, but we were basically crowdfunding. But the, the, but the deeper part of it was the idea that I would sell directly so I would know who every fan was. So as I keep, continue doing projects, I'm developing those relationships and then sharing the process, sharing what we're doing, um, giving them a little bit the experience and so and having things for players, having things for writers, having things for general fans, having things that different people can enjoy. And so, I mean, doing this over the years, I have built such an archive of documentation from recordings, documentation of me writing a piece, the the right the the ideas that I tell everybody, and then I go, then I do the rehearsal, and I'm like, I hate that, and then I go back to the drawing board and show them everything I. I surgically cut out and what I added and why I did and then I go to another rehearsal and I'm like you know what and I actually like what I did in the first place in some respects so now I'm in it. and I have documentation of all this stuff and so it's um it's been really great and it's enabled me we, we workshopped this last piece in three and then I wrote that second one and we added that to it so we did three workshops I was able to pay all the musicians a fair price for those rehearsals and, and workshops. I uh, paid myself what I need to be paid for a commission. I was able to pay my copyist and artists share their commission. And it, it was great. And I think you know some of the participants were here today. And so that was really nice. One of them was crying, so that was sweet. It was nice, you know, it's nice when people are moved by the music. So so it's great, and I couldn't do what I'm doing now without that. It, there's no way. It's just, it's, it's a huge part of my income now. I sell all my records now through Artist Share on a continual basis. Every record has documentation. So what happens, like on a lot of these platforms, you know, people, they, they say, okay, we're raising money, and we, we'll do it in this day, and then we're going to make a record. And then it's done. But with Artist Share, it's like, Ten years later, people are buying, or in the case of Concert in the Garden, 14 years later, people are buying that record and seeing us 14 years ago, what we looked like, and hearing me talking about making that record as opposed to the one I made last year or two years ago. So it's, it's fun. It's good. Because I want to get to do that thing. Thank you. You're happy and you know it. Clap your hands. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>